Imagine this. Every year, nearly 6 crore Indians are pushed below the poverty line due to medical expenses. That's almost the entire population of the state of Tamil Nadu. Think about it. One expected illness, a medical emergency and families that have been saving for years are suddenly buried under a mountain of debt. In a country that dreams big where innovations, growth and aspirations are buzzwords, this was a harsh reality for too many. But in 2018, something changed. The government launched a healthcare revolution, Aishman Bharat Yojana, also known as PMJAY. With the vision to uplift over 50 crore Indians, this scheme aimed to ensure that quality healthcare is not a privilege, but a right. A right for the farmer in Bihar, the factory worker in Maharashtra, the homemaker in Kerala, and the small shop owner in Gujarat. Aishman Bharat becomes a promise, a promise that no Indian should have to choose between their health and their savings. And this is not just any health scheme. It's the largest government-funded healthcare program in the whole wide world. Yes, the world. Covering 10.74 crore families, that's over 40% of country's population, absolutely free. Today, we're gonna to dig deep into what makes the scheme so impactful. How does it work? How does it measure up against private insurers? And most importantly, how is it changing the lives of millions of Indians? This is more than just healthcare, folks. It's about India's promise to take care of its own. Hi, folks. I'm Shashank. And we are Ditto, an insurance advisory platform where you can avail free advice from our IRDAI certified advisors, be it term or health insurance. We strictly believe in no spam policy. So if you'd like to talk to us, you can book a free consultation with us on our website with the link in the description. The roots of Aishman Bharat go back to the National Health Policy 2017, where the government of India laid out a vision for universal health coverage, meaning that every citizen has access to quality healthcare without financial hardships. This scheme aims to provide financial protection and quality medical care, bridging the gap between primary healthcare services and specialized treatments. Well, the big idea, no Indian should be denied medical care just because they can't afford it. Aishman Bharat has two main pillars. First, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana or PMJAY. This is the heart of the scheme. It covers hospital expenses for 10.74 crore poor and vulnerable families. That is about 50 crore people or 40% of India's population. Each family gets a coverage of up to 5 lakh per year for secondary and tertiary care like surgeries, cancer treatments and cardiac care as well. Second pillar is Health and Wellness Centers or HWCs. But it's not just about hospitals. Over 1.5 lakh health and wellness centers have been set up across the country. These centers provide essential services like diabetes screenings, maternal care, vaccinations, and even mental health counseling. So it's a holistic approach that combines treatment with preventive care. Think of it as a two-tier system. The wellness centers help with everyday health needs, while PMJAY is there for bigger costlier treatments that might otherwise break the bank. So what does PMJAY cover and why is it a game changer? First, hospitalization coverage. PMJAY covers 1,500 medical procedures including surgeries, cancer therapies, cardiac treatments and even kidney ailments. Whether it's ICU care, medical implants or diagnostic tests, this plan has you covered cashless and paperless. One of the standout features is the cashless process. Simply show your Aishman Bharat card at any empaneled hospital and you won't have to pay anything up front. No long forms or endless paperwork. Third, no limits on family size or age. That's right, there's no restriction on family size, age or gender, which means comprehensive coverage for all your family members, no matter their age. Fourth, coverage portability. Worried about moving between states or union territories? PMJY's coverage is portable, making it great fit for migrant workers or those traveling frequently. It's a nationwide net of protection. Now, PMJY isn't just resting on its laurels. There have been some big updates in recent years. Revised Healthcare Benefit Package, that is HBP 2.1. The latest package now includes mental health services, palliative care, and advanced procedures, making it more comprehensive than ever. Special focus on senior citizens. That's right, in 2024, the scheme expanded its reach to include top coverage of Rs 5 lakhs specifically for senior citizens aged 70 and above. It's a huge benefit since many seniors struggle to get private health insurance due to high premiums. Now, Aishman Bharat Digital Mission or ABDM, this is the third one, and this was launched in 2021. ABDM 
system aims to digitize health records, making it easier for you to access your medical history through a unique health ID. A plus, teleconsultation services are now available, a boon for people in remote areas. Now, you might be wondering, is PMJY enough or should you combine it with private health insurance? Now, here's a quick comparison. First, cost and accessibility. Aishman Bharat is free, no premiums or co-payments. It's accessible to a large section of society who otherwise might not be able to afford healthcare. But it's mainly focused on hospital care. Private insurance, on the other hand, can cover outpatient services like doctor visits and daycare treatments. Second, coverage limit. PMJY provides 5 lakhs per family per year, which is great for most medical needs. But if you need a higher coverage limit, let's say for prolonged treatments or premium hospital facilities, private insurance could be a good supplement. Third, specialized treatments. Private plans often give access to more specialized treatments and premium hospitals. PMJY covers most procedures, but there could be certain high-end treatments where private insurance comes in handy. Despite its many strengths, Aishman Bharat does face challenges. First, awareness gap. A big chunk of eligible families aren't even aware that they are covered under PMJY. That's a missed opportunity and more outreach is needed to spread this word. Second, quality of care. Ensuring uniform quality of care across all the impaneled hospitals is a huge challenge in itself. Regular monitoring and feedback systems are crucial here. Third, Infrastructure issues. In some areas, especially rural ones, healthcare infrastructure is still catching up. So continued investment in building more health and wellness centers can make a big difference. Fourth, sustainability. As healthcare costs rise, the government needs to find innovative ways to fund the scheme. Efficient management and fraud prevention through AI can help in this regard. Folks, as we stand here today, Aishman Bharat is not just a scheme, it's a lifeline. It's a symbol of hope for millions who once lived in fear of falling ill. It's a testament to the power of United Nation, where the well-being of the farmer in Punjab is just as important as that of an entrepreneur in Bengaluru. But here's the real question, is it enough? For a country of 1.4 billion people, how do we ensure that no one is left behind? Aishman Bharat is a promise, a promise we have to keep and with every small step, every family protected, we get one step closer to a healthier, stronger India. Jai Hind.